Good evening. What a pleasure to be on stage with Lord Diva again. We've worked together several times. I have a new book. Uh, it's not published yet, but uh, I wrestled a long time with the title. Uh, my interests currently extend to human interaction with technological devices. Uh, if any of you have taken a peek at or heard anything about Sherry Turkle's book, which is called Alone Together, uh, subtitled Why We Expect More from Technology and Less from Each Other. She's kind of an yeah. anthropologist of, of um, electronics and electronic human interactions at MIT. It's, it's worth reading. She's been studying this stuff for about four or five years. And one of the sensational conclusions she arrives at is that in the next 20 years, about 40% of the sexuality taking place on Earth will be between human beings and robots. <laughs> the Japanese have taken it much further than the blow-up dolls you may remember from the 70s and 80s. Very sophisticated sensual devices that don't talk back. <laughs> I think a robot might still break up. Yeah. That's right, that's right. <laughs> So I'll read the, uh, it, the, the, the book will be called Offline Love. Uh, that shows that for reasons of euphony. But I also wrote a poem called Love Offline. And you know, poets wrestle with, with these fine distinctions. So I'll read Love Offline, uh, which is uh, subtitled uh, Alternate Take. No IP address, no data collected, no likes or dislikes, no wall, no tweet, no tablet, no Android, no IP address, no terminal, nothing, no diamond mailers, no netbook, no notebook, no laptop, no desktop, no USB port, no Wi-Fi, no new updates waiting, no error 404, no fishing expedition, no cookies, no firewall, no worms, no malware, no viruses, no spam. No way to block my love for you this time around. You gorgeous recipient and giver of love, we lose even the politics of poetry with panache. Kiss me in the here and now. Let's do stuff with one another that make our closest friends squint in disbelief. You love me, and I love you so warmly, so coolly, that minus us, the world unknown and known falls short, unfinished, hat. <laughs> and this is the title poem, Offline Love. This all comes from uh, phrases that you, you pick up uh, when you're out there trotting around in cyberspace. You want to meet offline? Well, someone will often say something like that. Think about that. Offline love becomes, becomes, begins with uh, an epigraph that I'll have to sing. It's from uh, the late wonderful saxophonist uh, blues singer, uh, Eddie Cleanhead Vincent. I really miss him. Uh, Person to person blues. Don't send me no message. I can't hug no telephone. I want you person to person. Bring your big fine foxy cell phone home. <laughs> Offline love. You say digital. I say fingers, toes. You say keystrokes. I sing slyly. Different strokes with different folks. Dylan to Monk. I play folk music up the street. Monk to Dylan. We all play folk music. Hey, not so fast. Don't play me. Why text me? Why phone me only when you know it's safe? I won't pick up. You'll get my outgoing voicemail greeting. Enough for one as shy and slick as you. Don't say anything you can wink. Don't wink anything you can grin. Don't grin anything you can roll your eyes real mean to mean. 
You rush up into places you can't take. Can't take you nowhere. You don't clutch your smartphone, iPad, time-charred Kindle fire, smoked remnants of the soul in flight. One earthquake, that's all it takes to topple touchy-feely cell towers poised like ghosts above crude payphone carcasses yanked and trucked while yet still supple in a pinch. You didn't know apps from Apple or Adam's off ox. You came to me all hips and bee stung lips. Your eyes weren't mirror screens, they gobbled light. The only mouse you knew was cat and mouse. In daytime, you would program Meals on Wheels to feed the poor and elders. In real time, night or day, you fed the love surrounding us. Offline love works just like this. You merge, you melt, you run around, you pity yourself as you spin in space at 1,000 aching MPH. You rush right in. The run-up lasts forever. throw them away, you forget. If you pick them up, you remember. Fetishes, superstition, that is what they call our sacred heritage. Superstition, fetishes, our fetishes can never be entirely buried or broken, sold to museums overseas or burnt at the stake along with our elders, our elders, our fetishes. Today, we're not afraid to dress up our altar, not like in the time of our grandmothers, who were afraid of being set on fire. Today, we're not afraid to decorate our shrine for crossroads, great woods, and cemetery. We're not afraid to set it up in plain view for those we know and those we don't know. For those of yesterday, those of today, those of tomorrow, the ones we know, the ones we don't know, ineffable guides or blonde grandma hiding behind blue eyes the entire panoply from Africa. Earth, sea, sun, and sky for the living. Drops of wine, splashes of rum, a white candle on a mirror, pretty glasses of water. Give three times to the altar. This is what Grandma said. <coughs> Give three times to the altar for the twins, the saints, and the dead. This is what Grandma said. Don't let anyone touch the top of your head. And if they do, recite the Our Father, most powerful of all magical protective prayers. Then move with the wind, stay true, travel all the way to the sands of Guinea, Africa, where she was born. The mother of the mother of your mother where he was born, the father of the father of your father. Toi père, toi racino, je t'ai oublié, ramassé, songé. Three leaves, three roots. If you throw them away, forget. If you pick them up, you remember. Moi, gagne pas, c'est moi. Toi fais tomber la dalle, j'étais oublié, ramassé, songé. I have my basin, three leaves fall into it, throw away, forget, 
pick up, remember. <laughs> I remember the place called Citoyen. Do you know the place called Citoyen? A darkness dotted with flames, a blinding whiteness scored with mirrors. Do you know the place called Titan? The landscape rises in waves. It's where they send people to kill, where they send people to get killed. It's where people are buried and broken bottles are dumped. Do you know the place called Titan? Millions of slivers of glass shoot sun rays back into the mountains, already flashing with flint. Black smoke blows and red erupts. Titania is a stove top that catches your hair on fire, squeezes sweat from your skin, pumps tears out of your eyes. Titania is a hell, but still, you hope you hope, you hope, you hope, you hope, you hope. Springs are hiding somewhere. In Titayen, there must be water there. Oh.